So here we are about to leave Lava Tower Camp. You can see the Orange Army up there. There's 18 tents of clients, so that's probably about 36. There's 100 porters, and they uh, talked well into the night last night. And uh, started banging pots around quite early as well. So we're all packed, ready to go. We're heading down. We lose uh, uh, six or seven hundred metres. Small climb, lose some more height, and then drop again. So we're about four or five minutes away from leaving. Orange-headed guy over there is Paolo, the cook. He's got to get ahead of us because he's got to have some food ready for us. So we're about to go. We'll see you later on. Now I stopped to take some photos just here and uh, these two orange porters came flying through and I thought a quick way to catch up would be to get them behind them and follow them. They weren't too keen on that and you can see the pace increases uh, and uh, yeah there's my guys they all think it's quite funny and I end up carrying on through. Okay, so we're moving down through this valley. It's quite wide and expansive. Uh, it's reasonably quick moving here. Uh, a little higher up, we had a bit of an issue though. Uh, we came across a porter who had taken a fall. One of the Thompson uh, group had uh, slipped on the ice. It's quite shady up the top and there was a lot of water uh, seeping out onto the track and it had frozen overnight. So we stopped, got him sorted out. A uh, bit of painkiller and some anti-inflammatories okay, and left him to it. But it. we carried on down and uh, yeah, this is how it sort of ran for about three quarters of an hour to an hour I guess as we headed down to the Barranco wall which you can start to see coming in on the left hand side there. There it is, Barranco wall in front of us and the porter's waiting at the bottom. Bit of a queue to get on there though so we're going to have to see how we go. Well, I guess this proves the popularity of the Mount Kilimanjaro climb. Here uh, we've got a combination of about two tracks coming together and you can see the number of people. This is the last of the video from the wall. Once we got past the bottleneck, we spent most of our time just trying to stay in front, all the way to the top from here. <laughs> and here we are, we've made it to the top of the wall. Uh, we're all putting on a bit of extra gear. It's not that warm and the clouds coming in. Uh, for the next 10 minutes we just uh, get a chance to grab some uh, hot soup and wait for Nicholas and Colin to come up to the, where we're sitting. After that we st stop, take about a 20 minute break before we move on uh, heading off towards the next camp. So come down off Barranco Wall and where are we going Colin? This is Karanga. Yeah. Yeah, and up Karanga. It's 12.50 and we're just pulling into Karanga camp. We started off this morning at 8.30. So we started off at 4.6. I'm down to about 3.8 and now we're back up at 4,060 metres. It looks like the Orange Army is going to be based here with us again tonight. So it's going to be a noisy camp. We're going pretty well. Kinder is a bit off the pace. And uh, Brody's picked up an allergy, so we're going to start opening up the drug cabinet by the look of it. <laughs> <laughs> 